they are gone. Mm -hmm. Then the children we are raising, they will take over the society, they will take over the ministry, they will take over the, the, the government. So I have a, a word for the youth. Mm -hmm. If they want to live a life, a good life, if they want their mind to be sober, mm -hmm. they should be very careful mm -hmm. whom they associate in life. You don't, know, you don't know about smoking, but when you have a friends and group who are smokers, you will uh, restrain yourself one month, two months, but at the, at the end, mm -hmm. you'll be a smoker. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't know about robbery, you don't know, you don't know about the theft, but when you associate with the group, who deal about the robbing other people? Mm -hmm. Three, one year, two years, you'll be a robber. So mm -hmm. associating matters very much in the society. Mm -hmm. uh, Pastor, you have mentioned of uh, people you associate with. Mm -hmm. But now, nimekuja to Nairobi, yeah. as dream to Yoyote, mm -hmm. nataka kuishi, nataka marafiki, how mm -hmm. do I get to choose? Now, because an example, let me say even a, a closest place like Madare. Kuna watu wa type yoyote, nimekuja tu Nairobi, nimeingia tu hivi, mm. nataka kukuanza life. But watu wenye naishi nao, ni wa hiyo type. Niteishi peke yangu pasta. Vile unaweza fanya, uh -huh. uh, nita kupatia example na mimi. Uh -huh. Mi wakati nilienda secondary, for mwani. Nilizomea shule inaitua mwingi, mwingi high school. Uh -huh. Bangi inaizu, ilikuwe na uzu andometri. Pombe ilikuwe na vicho kwa sanduku. Mm. Nagura muka akona sanduku ya, ya one meter, square. Hii mepitishua wapi? Ni mambo ya maisha, kwa fence. Ok, ni sanduku kubwa, sanduku ina shida. Lagi mm -hmm. sasa nakuta, nikiwa pale, I can remember one time. Mm -hmm. Tulienda break. Na wale maraviki, sasa, unaona mtu ni mzuni raviki yako, lakini ujue tebia zake. Mm -hmm. Tulipo enda inje, niliona tumeka around. Situ nafanya nini, nikaona mtu hametua kitu kwa mfuko, kuangalia. Siju ni nini, naona kibiriti, pa. Naona njamaa anafanya hivi na anafanya nikaona sinja hiyo ana sigara kama hiyo niyo ile sauti na ile harufu nasikia ni mbaya mm -hmm. lakini wakati nilienda round hivi ilipofika kwangu nikasema no mm -hmm. kwa sababu ni kitu kibaya vile nimelelewa na wazazi wangu nataka kuendelea na hiyo msingi nikasema no nikapigwa makofi nikasema you better kill me lakini sitafanya kitu ambacho kitanileta shida maishani kwa sababu nimeambiwa ukivuta mbangi itakaa kwako miaka saba. Sasa kivuta ma, mara ten. Itaka seventy years. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, ni wewe uwe na integrity. Mm -hmm. When you look in the Bible, shano kameda mesha kanabeneko walikuwa katika inja boy na ambutu sadnamu ambao yeshi mungu. Mm -hmm. Na walikuwa meokoka. Na wako katika inja ambao yu wakofu. Mm -hmm. Na mipango ikafanyo wakambiwa sasa kuna mungu mwingini. Wacho wenu, anaambudiwa. Na hivyo ndodi watch without God. Mm -hmm. there, is a, there is a fire utawekwa pale. Mm -hmm. Walizema one thing. Wakazema uweshimiwe mfalume. Na tunakuheshimu sana lakini injudikane kwako. Mm -hmm. Ile moto meweka ni mukali. Lakini ujue, yule mungu tunambudu. Anaweta kutuokoa, anaweta kutuponya na moto wako. Na, hata na kama hata tuokoa, let us die in the, high, in the hand of God, but in the uh, uh, hands of sinners. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo, ile hiko ni ile wewe decide. You plan your own life. Mm -hmm. Uzeme mini meenda madhari. It doesn't mean ini madhari. All people there are, are drunkards. It doesn't mean ini madhari. All people there are, are harlots. When you go to madhari, you shall find more than 10 churches there. They are pastors. They are members. So, look for friends. Mm -hmm. Hata kama unataka mtu wa kuku, wa kuku zaidia kwa nyumba, unamuambia mimi naetu wa pastor, naetu wa brother Muli, ni meokoa kiesu zibwana. Hata kuambia mimi mambo ya wakofu stagi. Utaongea na three people, Wacha ni kupatia very good example. When I went to Mombasa, mm -hmm. my uncle did like about his salvation. Mm -hmm. He asked me na kikamba, mm -hmm. ni wajila ndini ya kulia, uliajila ndini ya kulia. Ni kumuambia my uncle, I was in that, uh, in that ministry, mm -hmm. uh, in those years when I was standard one, standard two, but now mm -hmm. I am pastor from four. So now they don't cry. Mm -hmm. Nowadays I shout. Mm -hmm. My uncle, he told me, uta ingia kwa nyumba yangu. Mm -hmm. Then I went there, at the, at the balcony, kwa mandizi. Nikakaa pale, mm -hmm. na nikalala. Usiku, nililiwa na umbu. Mm -hmm. Na nikamuambia mungu usiku, nimeliwa na umbu. Siku wa zababu, sina wazazi. Siku wa zababu, sina someone to care for me. Because of your name. Mm -hmm. Na nikamuambia God, because nimeliwa na umbu, that cannot reduce you to be a God. Mm -hmm. I will continue to worship you, and I know you open away. Mm -hmm. Nikiwa pali asuwi, nikaona somebody, I don't know. Mm 
mm-hmm. anaitwa Kirundo akaniuliza kijana unaitwa nani kwambia anaitwa Muli but you come from our place kwambia mm-hmm. yes and this this room belongs to your uncle nikwambia my uncle hataki mambo ya wokovu mm-hmm. niko hapa na Yesu wangu akaniambia mimi ni wandini hiyo ya kulia mimi ni wa wokovu welcome to house mm-hmm. nilikula nikakunywa so when you rely on god and you walk with god mm-hmm. god will always open a way for you kwa hivyo usiingie kwa vitu mbaya mm-hmm. ya kukuharibu kishwa mm-hmm. because of the spirit of compromising mm-hmm. kaa ngumu na Mungu alright ume, umetaja kuhusu uh, trusting in god and right now tunaongea kuhusu covid 19 mm-hmm. watu wengi wamepoteza makazi wengine wako nyumbani hawajui watafanya nini mm-hmm. mentally they are not well Mm. Ndio unasikia wanapigana. Mm. Bwana anapiga bibi na pingine bibi anapiga bwana. Watoto ndio hao wanapigwa mwingine juzi aliwa watoto wake. Mm. Hawa watu tunawasaidia aji ku understand the situation. Ah, vile niweza kuwasaidia kwa sababu mzee amekuwa akienda kazini, mama anakaa nyumbani. Mm-hmm. Mzee anaenda kazini na kaa 8 hours, 10 hours, akija na kuta chai na kuta kila kitu. Lakini now they are together there. Mm-hmm. Uh, wana chakula na upendo ni kama mmefungua kile naweza ku identify the bible says mm-hmm. neno la Mungu ni taya miguu yetu na wakiomba mm-hmm. ah wacha nikuambie kitu kimoja sisi as god fearing mm-hmm. kila mtu anaenda mbele za Mungu mm-hmm. mimi kama mimi sasa hii my my wife na my children sikuangi na stress na wao niliwaambia one thing anaye tengea mwanadamu amelaaniwa don't trust on on man trust on god mm-hmm. kwa hivyo i have even tra- trained my children when they are back from school and there is no school fees mm-hmm. before they ask me for school fees they go down to their knees wanamwambia mungu wewe ndio umeomba mbingu na inji na kila kitu ni chako na in the book of Psalms chapter 125 the bible says those who trust on the lord they are like, like mount zion which is not shaken or moved covid 19 it has come to kenya or to the world to check our faith mm-hmm. to check our economy but the bible in, uh, says in in, in Psalm 125 where is your trust no matter the stretch in the family no matter the stretch in the place of work mm-hmm. when you put that trust in God the bible has assured us mm-hmm. nothing will shake your faith so my message to the people who are tom they are jobless they are, there is no there is no there is no business what i can tell them there's no need to kill your wife there's no need to kill your children what do you do go to your knees mm-hmm. pray god trust on god the bible says god has power to to open a way mm-hmm. when the children of, uh, of israel they were coming from egypt going to canaan there was a red sea there was no way you cannot walk on the red sea but because moses and the entire uh, israel they trusted on god they prayed they asked god one question You are the one who taught us to come out of Egypt. Mm-hmm. There is a land you have prepared for us. Mm-hmm. Now you knew there is this Red Sea. Mm-hmm. Give us the way. Then God has told Musa, you have a stick. Mm-hmm. Uh, strike the water. And the way was there. So what I can tell the men who are home jobless, the women who are home jobless, I can tell them, talk to God. Tell God, you are the one who caused me to be married to this woman, this man. You are the one who caused me to be married to this man. Mm-hmm. And you are the one, you knew COVID-19 will come. You knew uh, uh, my job will go. So I fully trust on you. Mm-hmm. Give the way. And I assure m- my friend, the way w- will be found. Exactly. But now... Um still in the pandemic uh, there are these people when you wanna feel like they have lost meaning in life mm. they feel like they have become useless mm. and most of the youth at this particular point utajipata hao ndo wanaenda kutumia madawa za kulevia na kama pengine ni mzee ameingililia ulevi how do i get happy about myself without ruining myself with maybe drugs or doing something that will come to harm me or my family kile naweza kusema kile kinatoa affect sisi kama wa Kenya wale atuko kazini number one, ni laziness mimi today in Nairobi Nairobi even if you open a shop to sell a problem people will buy yani kuna nduka ya kuuza shida people will buy in Nairobi it is potential i give you an example i have a, a friend of mine who is my church member a sister mm-hmm. niambia pastor kumekuwa na pandemic hakuna kazi tafanyi nikwambia so long as you have mind you have legs and everything mm-hmm. you cannot lack a food na nikamwambia 
Kamwambia pale kwa nyumba yako, tafuta rafiki na kama una pesa nione ni kupatie tu ni ku ni ku na 1500. Mm -hmm. Nenda kwa super, kwa wholesale nunua four cartons of mineral water here 2020 na year 50. Mm -hmm. My wife has a shop and I, I know I know the price of commodities. Mm -hmm. When you buy a carton of uh, of mineral water mm -hmm. it costs around around 400 350. Mm -hmm. When you sell at 12 that pack ama six pack. Uh, 12 pa 24 pack 24. Mm -hmm. That carton in wool is around 350. Mm -hmm. Then when you sell that bottle for 30 shillings, you can make a profit about 300 or 270. Mm -hmm. Now, in Mulolongo, because that, my, that sister stays around Mulolongo, Ketengela at the river. Mm -hmm. When you just go along the road, mm -hmm. you are able to sell those four cartons per day. Then you make 300 times four. That is 1,200. Mm -hmm. So, you will not lack a food. Many people they lack of food because they are lazy. They don't want it to work. They don't want it to, to hustle. So there is so, so much opportunity in, in, in Kenya. Today, uh, when you go just the, the main road there, mm -hmm. send somebody there along the main road, Mupati a table like this, a carton of biscuit, small sweets, a packet of sweet. Uh, when you sell, mm -hmm. it has a profit of 180. When, you, when you, you, you start a small business at the road, there are people just passing. Mm -hmm. By the end of the day, you will be able to sell around three packets and two cartons of biscuit. When you sell two cartons of biscuit, you make 500 shillings profit. Then plus this sweets, you make around 600. Mm -hmm. When you hustle outside, you make a thousand. Mm -hmm. There are people who are, you are selling uh, things along the, the, the traffic. They mm -hmm. are making money. The problem with us Kenyan, let us avoid laziness. Let us appoint the spirit of parasite. Because your brother is working, because there's somebody here you want to eat there. Let mm -hmm. us work. Mm -hmm. Nairobi is a, a very good country. Nairobi is a good city. Mm -hmm. Even outside here, you are gay. There. Mm -hmm. If they, you can allow. And somebody comes here with a biscuit, with a soda. For example, when we came with my friend, Mm -hmm. We came here very early. Mm -hmm. I needed to take tea. I asked, is it a kiosk here? Any kiosk here? Mm -hmm. So there is potential. There is business everywhere. So mm -hmm. anybody who is listening to me at home, that spirit of staying idle, stop it. Mm -hmm. Work. But we have attitude. Miss, she has used a biscuit kwa street. Mm -hmm. She has used a sweet kwa street. Ona niambia ajimini mesoma. Sasa itakuambia, biblia nasema. Watu wa mungu kwa naangamia kwa mariva. Mm -hmm. You start with the grassroots. For example, me ni mesoma kidogo. Mm -hmm. Na kazi yangu ya kwanza, when I went to Mombasa, mm -hmm. nilikuwa ni mepaa suti hivi, ni kafaa tai, ni kambuwa kuna kazi kwa kwa warehouse, ni kaenda, ni kafikiri, ni kilaka dini. Mm -hmm. Tukasimama kwa laini, ni kajukulua kazi. Mm -hmm. Kuingia, ni kaingia kwa ngodao, ni kona maunga ya nganu, ni muangika, ni kufagia. Mm -hmm. Ilienda hiye, ni katua suti yangu, ni kwa kwa karatani, ni kambagi ni hile kinyasa, ni kondani, na vesti, na ni kaingia kazi. Unge kutana na mimi, mm -hmm. unge jua sura yangu, ni mekaa white. Lakini vanyeo kazi kwa wani wiki, mungu wa kiuwa mbinguni hakaona. Muse moja na hetu wa rutere, kambia wawo na hetu wa nani, na hetu wa muli. Nimesikio meokoka, watu wengine wa kiba ngunia za sukari uibi. Kwaambia mimi, si hivi vitu ya wala. Kwaambia tomorrow, usikuji na hima tambara, kuja na nguwa mzuri, au train you uh, on how to work, asa kilaka. Kwa hivyo, anza na hiyo kazi chavu. Anza, hata kama umesoma university, kuna PhD, that did no job. Go along the road, roast the mains. And by the grace of God, at the end of the day, you earn 2,000 per day. Time 30 days, that is 60. That is a salary of IMCA, my friend. <laughs> so you should uh, uh, work. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, uh, that's about flexibility. Because I have if I have been trained on this, you ndio kazi neza fanya, you ndio kazi nataka na siambiwi na mtu. And those are the majority. So my youths, Rada, I, um, I hope you're learning something here. Now, Having purpose in life. Mm. If such a pandemic imekuja ne ka shut down the whole world, kuna watu bado wajitambui, hawaoni hizi opportunity, mwiu mwenyambia sayi ati we can sell sweets in the streets and anaita work. Mm. Kuna watu wajui purpose yao. How do, we, how do I get to know my purpose? How do I get out knowing this is what I was created for? This is what I was meant to be? And this is what I can. Now, what I can say, before the pandemic came, mm -hmm. there are people who worked in this Nairobi for more than 10 years, 15 years. Mm -hmm. 
Now sometimes there are people who are crying at their home. Mm -hmm. Then maybe God is not merciful to them mm -hmm. because they are the, themselves who are causing the cry. Mm -hmm. For example, for me, where I work, I came to Nairobi in 2009. By, by that time, I was not a preacher, just, I was just a deacon in a church. Mm -hmm. But I know there is today and there is tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So as you work, you must plan for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, when I came to Nairobi and I started working, I said, because I come from Kitui, and it's far. I want to believe God to have my own home somewhere near Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Then I started saving 1,000, 2,000. At, at the end of four years, mm -hmm. I managed to purchase a land in Machakos town, just there in Diria, not a town, just uh, in the village. Mm -hmm. ja, it is just a 30 minutes walk from Machakos town. Mm -hmm. Then in, the, in that land, I build my house, mm -hmm. I have a shamba, mm -hmm. I have a fruits, I have a goats, I have everything, I have uh, chicken. And I have a caretaker. For example, where I work, because you know the churches were shut down. Mm -hmm. If you rely on the offering, there was no offering. Mm -hmm. Because now, the way people, they, they look, because you are not going to charge, you don't preach to them, mm -hmm. they don't give offering. You preach to them through online, they don't say anything. <laughs> then number two, mm -hmm. the company where I work, maybe by, by mistake, maybe it was shut down, and I was told, Muli, now, you step aside mm -hmm. until the pandemic is, is over, maybe six months. I'll never cry. I, I just go to my, my jackals because now we, we, after this we are going to become friends. One day I will welcome you to, to my jackals. You, you eat maize, you mm -hmm. eat papaya, you eat ngwazi, everything. Mm -hmm. My brother, I'm going to my jackals, I get maize, mm -hmm. I, 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 I make unga. At the other river where I stay, I don't buy unga. I don't know the price of unga. Nani so, alisama machakos kuna, kuna shidea maji? <laughs> Kama unalipa papai. Ukienda kwa angu machakos, mm -hmm. unajia naeza kwa kuna shidea maji, like it used to come on. <laughs> Wakani liena machakos, uh -huh. when I was constructing my house, mm -hmm. I used to buy a drum of water, 120. Mm -hmm. So, to construct, it was very expensive. And I learned. Now, in my home, I have, uh, I have two tanks underground, capacity of 50,000 liters. Mm -hmm. Then the, the 10,000 liters plus tank, I have two. So I use that water to plant skuma, to plant everything. Mm -hmm. So when you have a shortage of thing, something, mm -hmm. then you prepare to, to, to stop that shortage. Mm -hmm. Don't you see it to become a maziwa mala. You think you have open, when you are, there's something called grace. Mm -hmm. For example, today you are working in this company. Mm -hmm. Maybe 30 years you'll never be here. Mm -hmm. Now think, you say, now I'm working in this TV. Sometimes, some years to come, when I'm 70, 60, I will not be able to work. Mm -hmm. But I believe God, I have a vision. I will have my own TV. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says there is power in what you speak. True. So when others you are crying, my brother, you will never cry. So mm -hmm. let us Kenyan think. Let us Kenyan work. Mm -hmm. Let us Kenyan learn by example. Mm -hmm. Because you are working in a company and you are sacked. Mm -hmm. And you, for example, now, you see there are, there are some people, when you die in Nairobi, mm -hmm. we, we, we take you to your rural. You don't have a house. But in Nairobi, you are in a four bedroom, which is costing 70,000 per month. Mm -hmm. For two months, that's 1.4 million. Mm -hmm. Why don't you use common sense and go to Kitengela, where people are selling land at 1 million, 400, you buy your own land, you build your house. For example, me, when I got a plot in the river, mm -hmm. I told my wife, it is better to live under a tree, which belongs to you, not pay anything. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I see these people who live in Kileleshwa, those who live in Karen, mm -hmm. in, in big houses, they are paying a rent of 150,000 per month, and that land, that house does not belong to them. I term them as the poorest in Kenya. Uh, but they pastor, are the see you in class. See you, sister, see in class. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. See class. But here, you can see the people. When they come to the class, they come to the house of 200,000, and they come to my brother. You come to the house of my brother. For example, me and my wife, we are living in Mulolongo, we are paying 15,000 per month. Per year, we are almost 100 something. I have a small plot at the river. I constructed, I am a pastor, I work in a in a, a big company, like the problem with us Kenyans, to live the life you are neighbor. Mm -hmm. But instead of living yourself, you live the life of neighbor. Mm -hmm. And you live a life asking what, what people will say. 
Mimi kijana wandada wa wakinikuta kichoma maingo atasema ni wacha wao waseme live your own life. Kwa hiyo nimeambia my wife I'm going to at the river nita construct a temporary house niliweka box flower in my bag nje nikaweka rumu zangu ine na nikaweka flywood ndani feature board na nikapaka rangi when you look at my house it looks as a wall inside mm. it is nice I don't pay in a shilling. Then the 15,000 which I was paying at Mulolongo, I'm saving every month because I have a house allowance. That 15,000 per year, now I'm, struck, I'm, I'm constructing a permanent house somewhere for rent. Ten years to, to, uh, to come, I will be a millionaire. Mm. I will be other Kenyans. Wow, that's a good, yeah. that's a good mind. Uh, what would be your final recommendations to our young people out there when you are going to work, when you are going to work with your life because there is a corona, you are going to work, you are going to work. Actually, most of the people nowadays are not welcoming. What come out of the people, most of the people are not being invited to wash. So, you are going to work with your wife, you are going to work with your wife. Every person is going to work with your wife. You are going to work with your wife. Uwezi. Mm -hmm. Okay, kile mimi naweza kukuambia mm. nimesema uh, ukikaa na mtu mwerevu utakuwa mwerevu. Ukikaa na mjinga utakuwa mjinga. Mm -hmm. Number one, nitawaambia as a youth wachakue marafiki. Mm -hmm. For example mimi any youth ama rafiki yangu na any youth ambaye aliamua kuka kwa pasta they are doing very well. Niko na watu ambao wamepitia kwangu karibu kumi. Anakuja kwangu msichana ana, anakula kwangu anaosha pale nazimwandiki kazi then kwa sababu ya kuomba na yeye ile grace nafanya kazi ku, na mimi anapata opportunity mm -hmm. niko na mmoja anafanya Mombasa Big Hotel nina mmoja anafanya na kampuni ya Petro City niko na mmoja anafanya kampuni eh, kwa wale wa indi marafiki zangu kwa hivyo yule mtu, mtu nakaa na yeye sasa hivi nionyeshe rafiki yako sasa unaweza kuniambia pastor do you know something ama ama nguti person ama god fear in person lakini for me to understand you i want to know who are your friends Wewe uko na hiji na walevi na unasema hukunywe. Kwa hivyo nawaambia number one, associate waangalie wanakaa na watu inangaa. Number two, let them plan their life. Mm -hmm. Kama umepata kibarua mahali, uh, anza kutengeneza kwako nyumbani. Mm -hmm. For example, na wanataka kupatia example na mimi. Na yeye kusema huu pastor siku hizi hakuna kazi, nalipa 200 kwa siku. Wacha niwaambie when I was in Mombasa, nikifanya hiyo kazi ya kuvagia hiyo chafu. Nilikuwa nalipwa 70 shilling per day, nilikuwa nafanya 3 days per week kwa sababu tulikuwa wengi 210 what i did nilijifundisha saving nilienda kwa carpentry kwa sababu that according to my class and my earning i cannot open an account mm -hmm. so nilienda katengeneza kale ka box na kashimo kaweka kwa kitanda mm -hmm. nikipata 70 shillings nina budget nitakula 40 breakfast lunch na saba 30 naweka hapo nikaendelea hivyo Mungu akanisaidia nikakuwa promote nikakuwa kilaka nikaanza kulipa 150 nikaanza ku save 70 inakula hii imebaki my brother believe me or not at the end of year from january to december i was very disciplined watu wengine ukisave kifika 500 unafunja hapana mm -hmm. be disciplined at the end of year my brother nilikuwa nachukua kale kitu kangu december 21st wakati watu wa KPO wanaenda nyumbani walimu wanaenda na funja na mwaka coins pale na hesabu napata 7000 na wakati huo mtu ambaye analipwa KPA kupata 7000 kaji kuwa ngumu naweka 7000 naenda kitui kama mbozi nasema matufali itengenezwe mm -hmm. katengenezwe kachomwa nikaanza foundation ya nyumba yangu nikarudi Mombasa nikaendelea saving mwaka wa pili kainua nikairuvu nikarudi watatu nikaipika plaster na ikakuwa sawa na nikaoa mm -hmm. nakuta sasa mtu anataka kuoa ana nyumba hata ye mwenyewe akulangi sasa ndio mm -hmm. unakuta chaos be mature mm -hmm. na plan for your life well na bottom line rely on god hata kama ni maziki wacha nikwambie my brother mimi nimezaliwa mm -hmm. jamii ambayo Mas, tulikuwa maskini mpaka njirani wetu maskini anatuita maskini mm -hmm. na kwa sababu ya kurelia ni Mungu na ku good things prophesy good things unasikia mtu anasema mimi ni maskini ya Bwana anasema nini nimeshindwa na Naomi sitaolewa si nini no angalia ile maisha unataka na waande ku prophesy yourself hata ikazi unafanya mingi ya pastors hipo kia hipo kia hii mm. somebody means you are the pastor on your own read the bible Nasema Mungu mimi shinda za Kenya nimekataa nitaendelea mikononi mwako. Mm. Unasema Mungu umasikini nimekataa na itaendelea. Na mambo yatakuwa sawa. Sawa sawa. Asante sana kwa kuja Pastor Bernard Moli.
I'm hoping you're learning something and you have learned something, especially when it comes to the friends you choose, the people you hang around with, and especially uh, with the young people, we are the culprits to this. The people we hang around with, they have an influence in our lives. They change us so much to an extent we are not even able to realize who we are. We've been told to choose our friends rightly and to watch kuringia makazi. If anything can put... Uh, Unga or food on your table, please go for it. He has been uh, Pastor Muli Bernard with me here and uh, we were trying to look at the problems around mental health and he has spoken of uh, life issues that could help you to even avoid the mental problems that you could be facing. Thank you so much, Bakun, for being part of us uh, those few hours. I'll be seeing you again later in the evening with Y254 News. Keep it Y254 TV. Enjoy the rest of our programming and have a very good day. My name is Dereva Hilary. Goodbye.